Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing flood control using reservoirs, but we have to take a short break. I am Beverly Ukebu and you're watching UHD News. Welcome back everyone. You are still watching UHD News and I am Beverly Ukebu where I'm about to discuss flood control using reservoirs. It was a tragic blow to Texas when Hurricane Harvey took place back in August 2017 and lasted up to September 2017. Hurricane Harvey was said to tie up with Hurricane Katrina. Mm -mm -mm. It was the most expensive tropical cyclone documented. The damage was up to a whopping 125 billion US dollars, which also claimed the lives of many people and left thousands of people homeless. After the devastating tragedy, survivors could agree something needed to be done to prevent such a dramatic disaster. I know that many of you are wondering, how can we prevent such a disaster? I know that many of you are wondering, how can we prevent such a drastic, drastic disaster? Well, there are efficient ways to help control flooding to help protect Houston and its suburbs. Barker and Attic's reservoirs are flood control lakes that are not used for water supply, but are used to help with flood control. Reservoirs capture and store food waters for use during times of droughts when the rivers are low or dry. In Texas, in Texas, there are about 6,977 reservoirs with a storage capacity of 10 acre. In Texas, there are about 6,977 reservoirs with a storage capacity of 10 acre feet or even larger. Flooding can be controlled by reservoirs by regulating the amounts of water during flooding. Mike Cinder stated that <clears throat> Mike, Cin Mike Cinder of Houston Chronicle stated that there are estimates of the cost of a third reservoir, which have flooded around $500 million. Right now, there are talks of a third reservoir, and I know many of you out there are wondering, well, will us taxpayers be cutting the bill? Well, no. Mike Sender of Houston Chronicle stated that there is an estimated cost of a third reservoir which has floated around $500 million. The state official says that the state or federal government will be funding the project. In the end, using reservoirs and creating more of them can help minimize the dreadful impact of hurricanes and ensure that our ecosystem is not being drastically tampered with. Well, that's all the news we have for today. If you want to keep up with the latest news, please log on to our website at www.uhd.edu. I am Beverly Ukebu, and we will see you next time.